Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at three microwave bacon cookers to see how they compare. That's today's video. This is not my first test of microwave bacon cookers in the past. I've done the wild bacon and the bacon wave, but today I'm taking a look at three more to see how they actually compare. Let's first take a look at the unboxing and see how that went. All right, this is the Macon bacon. I paid $12.99 for this. The claims are that it cooks bacon in minutes above the fat not in it, reduces fat up to 35%, easy to clean, no fat splashes in the microwave, made in the USA. Uh, no instruction booklet, looks like some on the back here. Looks like the Tesla logo kind of, just stick them in there I guess. People who like it, they love how much bacon you make at once and they say it actually works as advertised. Those who didn't like it, some people said they had issues with parts of the unit melting. Some said it doesn't cook bacon evenly and others said it could be too tall for some microwaves. Progressive Prep Solutions Microwave Bacon Grill with Cover. I paid $9.97 for this. It has a solid 4.4 star rating among over 20,000 reviews. The claims are that it cooks four to six strips of bacon, vented cover to prevent splatter, recessed handle for easy removal. Uh, instructions back here, which I'll look over. And there we go, what is that? I hope that's just a coloration and not something on there. Well, it looks pretty, it looks pretty basic. That's not a vented cover though, I kind of like that. Uh, people who like it said it was easy to use, easy to clean, doesn't splatter, large size, holds a lot of bacon, gives great results in one minute per slice. People who didn't like it, some people said it gives the bacon a bad taste and has a bad smell. Some people said the bacon cooked unevenly. Others said it gets hot when removing the unit from the microwave. All right, here's the microwave bacon cooker. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. I paid $23.95. It's an Amazon's choice. The claims are that it's the quickest and easiest way to cook bacon in the microwave. Cooks up to six slices in less than three minutes. They say it has deep grooves that drains away the fat. A drain spout right there for easy removal of grease. Dishwasher safe, BPA free. I got some instructions on the back here. It's kind of cheaply made for 24 bucks. I'm a bit surprised it was that expensive. It's very cheap feeling. Doesn't mean it won't work though. These are some pretty deep grooves, so that's good. Now people on Amazon who liked it said it was easy to clean, cooks perfectly once you figure out the right time for your microwave. Those who didn't like it, some people said grease still splatters, the plastic damages easily. Others said it's difficult to clean and the pour spout doesn't work properly. All right, so first up was round number one. I just wanted to really get kind of a gauge on how these would work. So I want to do a small amount of bacon in case I didn't waste a lot if it didn't go well. The problem I had was that one of the cookers had no instructions for time. Two of them had differing instructions for time. So I really had to kind of get a gauge which one was more accurate. So for the first round, I just kind of stuck with the actual instructions even though they were different. And here's what happened. All right, I've washed all these out. I read over the instructions. Actually, the Macon Bacon doesn't even have any instructions. All it says is load it, place it in the microwave and cook to your liking and pour away the fat. So I think I'll go with the instructions for the other two. Both of these are based on 800 watt microwaves. Mine's 950, but the prep solution suggests using 80% power if your microwave is more than 800 watts. So I'm gonna go with 80% power for all of these. I think I'm gonna do a couple rounds. I'm gonna do one with just to see if it works and then I'll try to load them up and see what kind of capacity I can do. So I'm gonna start with the Amazon's choice here. I think I'm gonna try four slices to begin with and four slices and this one apparently is gonna take six and a half minutes if you want it crispy and I want it crispy. All right, let's see if this is even gonna fit here. You're gonna have to, maybe I'll just kind of leave that one folded over a little bit like that. It's gonna kind of uh, leave that one like that. I'll do a couple like that. All right, that one's fitting for the most part. I'm gonna avoid the cinder and do two more on the other side. I'm just gonna kind of fold that over a little bit. All right, that's, I think that's it. Placing in the microwave. Six and a half minutes, power level of eight. And we're off. Check back in six and a half minutes and see how it's going. It's generally agreed that fried bacon is better than microwave bacon, but microwave is more convenient, so, so sometimes you have to just take the easier path. It's already crackling in there, so we got about five minutes left, so we'll wait and see how it goes. Here we go. All right, I don't see any splatter in the microwave. That's a good thing. For the big reveal, test number one. Oh, wow, it's almost it's overdone. Well, that's crispy, all right. Maybe too crispy. I mean, everybody has their, their range. I, this might be a little bit more crispy than I like, but it looks, looks pretty done. This looks a little bit brown right there. It's certainly cooked, it's certainly cooked. I'm gonna have to uh, keep going and see how this compares. The most important test is the taste test. 
It's very crispy. Wow. Yeah, pretty crispy. I did pick up this bacon bin, which is actually a little container for bacon grease. It has a little filter on the top and you can get through it that way. I just thought it was kind of an, I, I'm not really reviewing this. I just thought it'd be a nice way to get, capture some of the grease. Supposedly have this pour spout right here. Let's see how accurate that is. I guess this is working pretty good. Well, maybe not. I just, I just, I just spilled some. All right, it's off to a pretty good start. That was maybe a little bit more done than I wanted it to be, so I can adjust for the second round, but let's keep going for the prep solutions and see how that goes. I'm gonna do four pieces in this one as well. This one on the instructions says one minute per piece, so let's try it out. It seems to be uh, good width-wise. It doesn't seem to have a problem holding the entire piece. That's good. All right, we got four pieces in here. We're gonna go four minutes at 80% power and see how it goes. And we're off. Once again, two, one. All right, there's no grease in the microwave that I can see. That's good. And here we go. All right. Okay, not as not as crispy, but but I didn't cook it as long either. All right, I think some people would say this is perfect. Some people say it's not done yet. Everybody has their own opinion. I'm gonna leave it as is and just keep moving on. All right, certainly uh, floppier than the first one, but the first one was a bit dry. Maybe this one won't be. Mmm, that's pretty good. All right, time for the making bacon next. Now it has three holders. I'm going to take one out because I'm only going to do four pieces for the first round. So I'll do two and two. All right, so the photo on the making bacon box shows a towel over it. I'm going to do it that way. People on the Amazon comments also say to put a towel over it. I'm a little worried this one's going to splatter, but I'll put some towels over it and see how it goes. That's kind of what they're showing, I guess. That's what they're showing. That's what I got. I'm pretty unsure about this one. I'm not, I'm not feeling 100% sure. I think it's gonna splatter. And I'm gonna, there are only instructions as far as time, so I'm gonna use the Prep Solutions one minute per slice. And we're off. I hope I'm not cleaning up bacon grease for a while after this. All right, in four minutes, we'll see if my microwave's completely covered in bacon grease or if that paper towel was enough. Man, I hear a lot of splattering in there. I'm not real confident that paper towel's gonna be able to catch all of it. The first two, I didn't get a lot of splatter with, but this one, I'm a little worried. Oh, honestly, I don't see a lot, of, a lot of splatter. I'm happy about that. Now let's take a closer look at the bacon. All right, they're, they're folded over, which I don't think most people care about that. Let's unfold them. Just kind of slide it right off of there. I would say as far as doneness goes, this is probably right in between the first two. And there is round number one for the making bacon. Taste test time. Mmm, that's a good in between. Yeah, that's good. All right, taking a look at the first round. This is the Amazon's Choice, Prep Solutions, and the Macon Bacon. Everybody has a different idea of what the best one is. I tend to lean towards the Macon Bacon, although I think they all they all worked. I'm not sure I would I would go as long on this one the next time, but I'm gonna make some adjustments for round two and load them up and see how it goes. All right, let me try to clean these off again, and then I'm gonna do my final round where I try to load them up all the way and see how they go. All right, so for round two, I wanted to load them up to max capacity and see how well they did with that. I still didn't have the times perfectly, but it was better this time. Check it out. I did clean them off. I think that the Make and Bacon and the Amazon's Choice clean up pretty easily. The prep solutions seemed to be the most difficult. I think because the ridges were so close together, it took a lot to get in there. They were all pretty easy to clean, but then the prep solutions was the worst of those three. But let's try round two now. I'm gonna try to load these all the way up to capacity and see what happens. First up, Amazon's Choice. This can supposedly hold six pieces of bacon, so I'm gonna try six pieces in here. Well, that's gonna be really tight. I mean, it holds six, but they're really kind of smashed in there. But that's what they say, let's try it out. Now, the first time around, I did four pieces for six and a half minutes because they said it was gonna be crispy. It was a bit crispier than I wanted, so I'm gonna do six pieces. They say seven and a half minutes. I'm gonna go 6.45 and see what happens. All right, it's on there for 6.45, 80% power. I have much more confidence this time. We'll see if we can make six pieces pretty well or not. 
Sounds like some bombs are going off in there. I got all kinds of explosions happening. We still have um, a minute 45 to go. And it's definitely a lot of activity happening. Whoa, see that? It's like fireworks inside. It's kind of a, a greasy splattery sound going on right now. All right, 15 seconds left. They said six and a half minutes for tender, seven and a half for crispy. I put in 645, so we'll see how it goes. I just noticed there's grease on the inside of my microwave. Now that was not there before. I got splatter. Look at that. No, I'm not good, man. Come on. I'm not happy about the splatter. All right, but let's see how it turned out. And maybe not quite as, as crispy as the first round, but still pretty crispy. That's what we got. It's pretty crispy. I had to put them so close together. They're kind of, kind of sticking together, though. I mean, it's like one big piece. Let me try the taste test now. Hmm. Better in the first round. All right, so as far as the Amazon's choice goes, I kinda, I'm kind of mixed feelings about this one. The bacon came out better on the second round, but I got splatter in the microwave, which I didn't have the first time around, so I gotta clean that up. So we'll do that and then I'll move on. I guess you just gotta go really slow. The pour spout could be a little bit better, I will say. All right, let's try six pieces on the prep solutions now. This one seems to hold six slices much better. It seems like it's certainly more room. They're still overlapping just a tiny bit, but not as much as the Amazon's choice. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, it's in there, six minutes. Power level at 80%, so let's see what happens in the prep solutions when it's done. No splatter in the microwave, that's a good sign. And there we go, what do you guys think? I got one giant piece here. Let me see, this one looks a little bit less flimsy in the first round actually, so maybe pretty good. Mmm, that's good. All right, the prep solution's a solid contender in round two. I'm gonna try 12 pieces on the Macon Bacon and see if that actually works, so let's try it out. All right, there we go, wow. I can't say I've ever seen anything like that before. It looks like bacon curtains, very unusual. Now what I'm not really sure about is how long to put this in there for. There were no instructions as far as that goes to begin with. I mean, four minutes worked well for four pieces, but will 12 minutes do 12 pieces or would be less than that? I don't know. Rather than go 12 minutes, I think I'm gonna go 10. I'd rather have a little bit less done than more done. So let's try 10 minutes and see how it goes. All right, so hopefully the 10 minutes isn't too much of a disaster. I think it's gonna be okay. I think 12 minutes might be a little bit too long. My gut instinct tells me 10 minutes is gonna be right for 12 pieces, but we shall see. I'm gonna say 10 minutes looks pretty good. Let me pull out of here. Voila, let's see. I will say I don't see any splatter in the microwave. That's a good thing. I would say that's pretty close. Do I need to go longer? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave these as is. I think they look pretty good. I will say, if you look at this piece, it's not as done in the center as it is in the ends. So a little bit crispy, a little bit less done, a little bit crispy again. Someone in the comments on Amazon had mentioned that I am seeing it. The middles are not quite as done as the ends. I'm also noticing that these over here seem like they're more done than these, than these over here. So I'm just gonna take them all off and see how they look. Less consistent, I think, across the board on this one. And look at this, it's stuck together. I'm just kind of making a bit of a mess here. I don't, I'm not quite as impressed with 12 pieces on this one. I mean, it's a lot of bacon. It's a lot, but it's not consistent. Some pieces are more done than others. Some are more flimsy. They're also kind of folded. I have to kind of pull them apart. So I'm, I'm not, quite as, not quite as impressed. It, it's good. If this was the only way I had to make bacon, I wouldn't complain. But compared to the other two, maybe I am complaining just a little bit. Let me try one of the better looking pieces here. This one looks pretty good. Although again, the center is not as done. Crispy. Less crispy. Crispy again. All right, I think it's only fair I do one more quick round for the Amazon's Choice because I was using different instructions because it differed from the Prep Solutions. The Prep Solutions instructions seem like they're more accurate. I'm gonna use the Prep Solutions instructions on the Amazon's Choice and see if the results are better there.
We'll see if the Times for the Prep Solutions works better for the Amazon's Choice because the ones I used for that one, I wasn't real thrilled with, but let's see how this bonus round three goes. All right, it doesn't look as done as the Prep Solutions after four minutes. I think it needs to go a little bit longer. Try one more minute. All right, here at five minutes. That's, uh, that's closer, that is much closer. Let's try the taste test. It's good. They're all good. All right, looking at the final results here, we got the Amazon's Choice round one, two, and three. As you can see, it got better over time. I was able to get better results uh, the last time around. Prep Solutions, I got good results both times, and the Make and Bacon, pretty good results, although there were times uh, on the second round where it was a little bit uneven maybe a little bit less cooked in the center than the ends. I'm gonna swap out round three with round two, a bit more of a fair look here. So that's it. There is the final results. What do you guys think? So really, I think they all did well. The Amazon's Choice took me one more round to really get it right, but I think they did pretty good. Let me ponder these results and give you my final conclusions. Let me quickly recap these microwave bacon cookers. I will start with the Amazon's Choice, which I would say is probably my least favorite of the three for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's kind of on the small side. You have to fold the ends over. There was also significant splatter from this one that the other ones didn't have. It's also the most expensive, and I think it was the most cheaply made feeling. Of the two instructions I had, theirs seemed to be the least accurate. They also said you get bacon in under three minutes, which that's only if you make one slice, so I don't really think that's an accurate claim. I thought it worked. I just didn't like it as well as the other two. Now for the making bacon, I love the concept. I like how it makes 12 pieces at once. I had better results in round one. I think it kind of won round one, but once I loaded it up, it seemed like the cooking was inconsistent, not only across individual slices, but across the actual rack itself. I thought it worked well, but not quite as well as the prep solutions, which I would say would be my favorite of the bunch by a very small margin. That one I liked because it actually was seen the most consistent of the bunch. I didn't experience any bad smells or bad tastes like some of the comments claimed. It was probably the most difficult to clean by hand, but that didn't really matter in the dishwasher because they all cleaned up well there. I thought they all worked pretty well, but if I had to pick one, I would go with the Prep Solutions. But if you've used any of these microwave bacon cookers, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.